subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel Welcome to World News Channel. Today news is Syria war, air strikes resume hours after UN approves ceasefire. Air by the Syrian government on a rebel-held enclave have continued despite a ceasefire resolution passed by the UN Security Council on Friday. Hundreds of people have died in a week of, bomb of bombardment of the eastern Gouda enclave near the capital, Damascus. The latest attacks include a ground offensive that began hours after the UN urged a 30-day truce without delay. On Sunday, France and Germany called on Russia to put pressure on the Syrian government to honor the ceasefire. Speaking to Russian President Vladimir Putin in a joint telephone conversation, German Chancellor Angela Merkel and French President Emmanuel Macron asked for help with implementing the UN resolution. What happened on Sunday? Activist groups in Syria say government airstrikes took place in the rebel enclave soon after the resolution was agreed in New York. At least three people are reported to have died in the latest attacks, while one rebel group in the eastern Gouda said it had killed a number of government soldiers. The strikes targeted the outskirts of Doma, the main town in the eastern Gouda, the UK-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights. Sir, said. The Sir also reported several casualties on both sides after Syrian government forces clashed with rebels in southern areas of the enclave. Syrian forces on the ground are pushing to enter the eastern Gouda, both opposition and pro-government sources said on Sunday. The government has been trying to advance into the rebel-held area on several fronts but its forces have so far been repelled, rebel groups say. Meanwhile, Iran said that while it would adhere to the ceasefire, it would continue its military operations in areas around Damascus that were not covered, Reuters news agency reports. As the text says, parts of the suburbs of Damascus, which are specifically controlled by the terrorists of the Nusra Front and other terrorist groups, are not subject to ceasefire, Iran's military chief of staff, Major General Mohammed Bakari, is quoted as saying. Iran, along with Russia, is a key supporter of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad and has played a vital role in enabling him to recapture territory across the country. Who are the rebels not included in truce? Rebels operating in the eastern Gouda include a variety of factions, and infighting between them has led to past losses of ground to the Syrian government. The draft resolution had said that the ceasefire would not apply to operations against the Islamic State, IS, group, Al-Qaeda and the News Front. The Syrian government says its attempts to recapture the eastern Gouda are directly due to the HTS presence there. How bad is the situation in the eastern Gouda? UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has said the situation in the eastern Gouda is like hell on earth. On Sunday, Pope Francis said the violence was inhuman and called for an immediate halt to the deadly bombardment to allow access for humanitarian aid. Barrel bombs and shells have been dropped on the area, where some 393,000 people remain trapped. While hundreds of people are said to have been killed in assaults by government forces since last Sunday, rebels firing on Damascus have reportedly killed at least 16 civilians. Aid groups also report several hospitals being put out of action. The Syrian government has repeatedly denied targeting civilians and said it is trying to liberate the eastern Gouda from terrorists, a term it has used to describe both the jihadist militants and the mainstream rebel groups that hold the enclave.